Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do So Knits YouTube channel where I share with you how knitting has interwoven into my life. So this video is going to be a vlog over the next couple days. Today is Wednesday the 22nd, I believe. Sorry, it is the 24th. It is the day before Thanksgiving and it's also the day that Andrea Mowry's Curio Sock Knit Along starts. So if you're unaware, every year Andrea Mowry does a sock knit along around Thanksgiving and the challenge is to start the pair of socks today at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is 3 p.m. my time. And to finish both pairs of socks by Monday at noon. And she comes out with a new pattern and it's just a fun little challenge. And one of my coworkers asked if I was doing it and I had seen the email and I was on the fence about it and then I bought yarn and I'm going to be partaking in the sock challenge and I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me along this journey over the next couple of days. I wanted to do this vlog as well because I don't know when my next typical podcast is going to be. I made a post on YouTube the other day, but in general, I, with the move and everything, I don't know when I'm gonna have time to sit down and record another podcast. I was planned to record last Wednesday, so a week from today in the past. Um, but I really didn't have that much knitting. I didn't have any finished objects. And I just think with this phase of my life, we're just gonna embrace the vlogs for a bit. I think it might be kind of fun. Um, Cause I'm gonna do this vlog over Thanksgiving and then during December, I'm planning to do Vlogmas. I'm unsure if I'm gonna be doing daily video post, but I plan to record every day. But some of them may be combined into one post instead because I don't know if we're gonna be doing a lot of things every day for it to warrant a video every day. But that's just kind of the future of the, of the channel and where my space is kind of at, what my brain is kind of thinking as we go into Thanksgiving and December. I think we're just gonna be doing a lot of vlogs. But don't worry, I'm gonna be showing a lot of my knitting. If I am just doing vlogs, all of the knitting that I'm doing and things that I'm finishing will all be on there and I will still be posting on Instagram my finished objects. I'm hoping to getting back to posting a little more often there because I know I've been very slack. I'm sorry. Just the lighting like in this apartment is not great. And like, let's just all acknowledge it right now. It's not great. I do not like this hotel we are staying in just because all the lights are orange. They're literally like this shade of orange, everything. So it's fine. My socks, let's talk about those. It is literally three o'clock. It just turned three o'clock on my watch. So it is officially time to cast on these socks. I'm gonna show you guys the yarns I got for them. I'm super excited. So one of the combinations that Andrew Mowry used was a Modim and Spin Cycle. And so that is what I did. I got a Mondim Retro Zaria, and this is Colorway Moss. And I'm holding it with this Spin Cycle, which is like greens and blues and fun mustard yellows. And here is the tag. So Spin Cycle yarns dyed in the wool and it is the color weight Deep Bump. So this is a sport weight yarn. It's 200 yards for the 50 grams. And then this is a fingering weight and it is a non-superwash wool. It is a sock weight yarn, fingering weight, 100 grams. 421 yards so definitely will have enough I'll probably definitely have some of the dye in the wool left over and definitely have some of this and it's kind of like the pattern is a I'll pop a picture up here it's like a garter stripe panel type thing I'm not exactly sure I haven't looked at the pattern yet but I'm pretty excited the socks are knit from the toe up I think I am going to do toe up 
I do not think I'm going to do an after hot thought heel though, which is in the pattern. I believe I'm just going to do my normal German short row heel with the heel flap adjustment because I know that heel works for me. And I think the shaping of that versus an afterthought is going to be, like I think they will intermesh, um, interchange well. So I think that's my plan. I'm gonna do toe up and I'm going to do the German short row heel. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. It is time to cast on. So I am going to download the pattern onto my tablet, get it all ready and let's cast on some socks. Hope you guys are excited for this little vlog. Okay, so I have everything pulled up. I have my magic loop needles and then my nine inch circular, which you all know is my go-to. And then here is the front project page. It's all pulled up on my tablet. We are ready to go. It looks like for the sizes, there's like a 52 stitch and a 60 stitch count. So I think I'm gonna go up to the 60 stitch count. So I normally do 56, but I think the extra four stitches isn't gonna matter that much. I'd rather it be a little looser than too tight. So we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna do the cast on and let's get started. Also, I wanted to say that these are going to be living in this cute cat Christmas bag from Stolen Minutes. So let's cast on. I have to look up a tutorial for the Turkish cast on and then we will get started. It's been a minute since the last time we talked Let's catch up on some things I shouldn't involve You're judging me for all the things I would say But never mind, it's not like you'd ever change They always said you were the talkative type But that's not the way that I would describe Those quiet nights when we had nothing to say But never mind, it's not like you'd ever change First you pull me closer Just to push me further Emotion Okay, we have the very beginnings of the toe. It's so little. And now we go to do the increases for the toe, and then once I have the final stitch count, I'll transfer it over to my nine inch circular. My plan initially was to do these tandem, but I did not break this into two cakes. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm just gonna knit from the outside and the inside, or if I'm just gonna venture caking up the outside. We'll see what happens, I don't know. But anyway, let's get cooking on this toe. It's been a minute since the last time we talked Let's catch up on some things I shouldn't involve You judging me for all the things I would say But never mind, it's not like you'd ever change All right, so we're about an hour and a half in um, I know this because I've been watching Rebecca on Netflix on my TV And I'm an hour and eight minutes into that And it took me a while to get the tail cast on and everything It is... A little after five, we just took Sherlock for a walk and I have finished the toe. And now we are getting ready to do the start the color work stripes. Um, I have added a new stitch marker on here. I just got this in the mail today. This is from Simply Serving, one of her Christmas markers. But yeah, I'm going to do probably another I have 55 minutes left in the movie, so I'll probably knit until that is done, and then I'm going to go cook dinner. But yeah, I have changed my mind a bit about what size I'm doing. So the sizes is a 52 stitch instead of a 60, uh, 
a 52 stitch sock instead of a 56 stitch sock, which is what I normally do. So four stitches less, but I'm going to go up to a 2.25 millimeter nine inch circular instead of a two millimeter. And I think that will compensate for the four less stitches. While I've been doing the toe, I was thinking about, do I really want four extra stitches? And since it's a sport weight for the spin cycle, I thought going up a quarter of a millimeter would help with the slightly thicker yarn and slightly bigger needles. So yeah, time to start working on the color work. I do have like a plan of what I need to get done every day of this knit along to get the socks done. So today is like the toe and the foot of the first sock is what I need to get done. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna knit for another hour, then cook dinner, and then Shane will probably watch TV after we eat. They always said you were the talkative type, but that's not the way that I would describe it. Those quiet nights when we had nothing to say, but never mind, it's not like you'd ever change. First, you pull me closer, just to push me further. Emotion roller coaster, coaster. Then you take me higher, just to end up lower. Emotion roller coaster, coaster. Okay, so the last hour of Rebecca's done. I really enjoyed that movie. I just finished the book last night, so that's why I was finally able to watch it. It took me like two and a half months to read that book. I eventually just started listening to the audiobook in order to get it done, and that was the right call. I can just consume audiobooks a lot better than I can reading because I like to listen and knit, and I like to drive and listen to audiobooks as well. But this is how much of the foot I got done in the last hour. Gotta pull my yarns. So yeah, I think it's going pretty quick. It's nice because it's mostly a stockinette, stock, easy. And then you're just basically knitting stripes with some simple slip stitches. And I love my nine inch circulars. And looking at it, I think doing four stitches less, but slightly bigger needles is going to work out. But Sherlock is getting antsy. I'm getting hungry, so it's time to go cook some dinner. He's like looking at the door because I locked him in. Can you see him? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go get some dinner. your best friend talks a lot about the way you move the way you see yourself i got your backpack in my car just hoping that you'll see it there in time because i'm thinking about you hey thinking about you hey she said let go of your heart and it'll fly I, Cause I'm thinking about you, hey I'm thinking about you, hey She said let go of your heart and it'll fly First you pull me closer Just to push me further Emotion roller coaster, coaster Then you take me higher Just to end up lower Emotion Let me know when you're sad again Gotta hope, gotta 
God, I hope you come back again. Good morning. It is now Thursday morning. We are up, but still in bed because the bed's more comfortable than the couch. Come on, Shirley. Sherlock is here again. As you probably saw last night, he was very snuggly. But I am dressed and ready, waiting for the Thanksgiving Day Parade to start. Happy Thanksgiving to you all if you celebrate. And there's Bubs. I got to my heel last night. So I finished the foot. I used my sock ruler to measure if it was ready. And so my foot is eight and a half inches. And so I take off half an inch. So I knit my socks to eight inches and I start the heel an inch and a half early. Um, it's typically when I start the toe. So that's what we're trying to do with the heel and hopefully it works. If not, I'll rip back and we'll knit a little extra. I am doing my German short row heel. So I am going to start that now. I used the recipe that Mina Phillips has in her patterns. And so I did the heel flap adjustment on the bottom, which I've never done to up before. So essentially you just do increases every other row instead of knitting back and forth like you do on the top. And we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to try it. This little marker right here is where I started the increases. So that way for the next sock, I can just count rows. And yeah, we are getting ready to knit. the afternoon we cooked our Thanksgiving meal which we just made some ham and green bean casserole and some stuffing it was very good we had that and then you guys saw I was working on my shawlography for a bit because I just needed a little break from the socks um I'm wanting to get my shawlography done by the end of the month but I think that's not going to happen because I'm like a day and a half behind on my little schedule that I made for myself. And my schedule is already really ambitious. So I don't know if that's going to finish. Because I want to do the striped border. I don't want to just bind off after the crosses. If I was binding off right after these crosses, I'd be really close. But I'm not planning to do that. But I'm now sitting here. I'm watching the grocery girls on my TV still sitting on the bed. I now have a blanket on me. Sherlock has gone on his afternoon walk and I've picked my socks back up. I've been working on them for a bit. Posted a quick photo to Instagram, but this is where I am at. I'm all tangled up. So I've done about 20 rounds on the foot after the heel. Kind of hard to see. There we go. About 20 rounds on the leg after the heel. And honestly, I think I'm about to start my cuff because I've really been loving like the ankle length socks. They've just been what I've been gravitating toward wearing lately. And I know that it kind of feels like a cop out because this is like 
a challenge to get the socks done, but there's nothing in the rules about how long your leg has to be. The pattern just says knit it the leg however long you want and then do a two inch cuff. Two inch cuff is a little longer than what I typically like. I like about a 15 round cuff. So I might do like three more spin cycle stripes. So like six more rounds total. And then start my cuff. Because I really like this length. Honestly, this length right here is perfect. But I think I might just do a couple more rounds and then start my cuff. And then sock one is done. Like 26, 27 hours later. Time wise, knitting wise is not that long. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to be okay for this challenge. I hope this vlog is going okay. I'm trying to find a good mix between uh, talking and showing what's happening. But since it's a holiday and we're in a hotel, we're really not doing a whole lot. I'm pretty much watching TV while knitting. Shane's playing video games. We already cooked our little food that we typically make for the holidays, which is not a lot because it's just two of us. And yeah, tomorrow I work, but then I'm off Saturday and Sunday as well. And we'll see how long these socks take me and how long this vlog will take you guys along with me. So, yes, gonna hit resume on the video, probably do a couple more rounds, and then start the cuff. It's exciting. I'm really pushing this out a lot faster than I thought I was going to, because if I can finish the cuff today, I can then continue and hopefully get these crisscrosses done today. That is the goal. So, finish cuff, more crosses. you guys some clips last night about kind of where I was finishing some projects so Shane and I watched a movie on Netflix we watched Red Notice and it was good um, I was definitely focusing more on my knitting than the movie but I was able to finish both the leg and cuff of my socks and I also bound off that first sock so here's my sock it looks so short I just have little feet. So here's my first sock. I have little markers notating every 10 rounds. That way when I'm knitting the second one, I don't have to measure. I can just remove these markers over and with the stripes, it's really easy. But yeah, here's my German short row heel. So the sock folds nice and easy. And I did 15 rounds in one by one for the cuff. And may I say, there's this little detail where all of the slip stitches line up with their respective parts of the ribbing and that is just like a perfect little detail that I love because like the two slip stitches on the side just continue up as two knit stitches in the ribbing and it's just beautiful. So I have just started my toe this morning. I basically have done just the cast on which is fine. Um, so now it's on the needles and I could start working on that. 
and then I finished the crisscrosses in my shawlography. Um, may I say those were a complete pain in the butt, which I know a lot of people have said. Um, I ended up going down to a smaller needle size so I could get the stitches on. I was very conscious when doing the yarn overs to make sure everything didn't get twisted and that was the goal too. I think just getting everything onto your needle is and keeping like a whole needles full of yarn overs was key to preventing things from getting loosened and untwisted and too tight and so I think once I got that figured out and I switched to the smallest interchangeable I had for that needle that was holding the yarn overs, I think it went a lot better. But I have now started my striped border. And I did show you last night in the little video, but I wasn't talking. My little, I did a quick lazy swatch because he says you can put your stitches in any order that you want and I was debating if I wanted white pink brown or white brown pink um, so I've opted for the white brown pink the second option I think I like how that blends a little bit better and I have done the beginning like build up to get it turned and then two stripes so now I'm just on simple repeat I have 49 more stripes to go. But this is nice because it's just garter and pretty memorizable. So, very excited. I'm feeling close. And the whole thing I think is looking really nice. All right, mind your needle ends. So this is how everything is looking so far. And then my wee stripes, my wee striped border. I'm very excited. I'm so close to the end. I can taste it. Yeah, this is almost car worthy at this point. So we'll see, we'll see. I think we'll see what happens. Today, the goals are to finish the toe and leg of my second sock. I'm actually a bit ahead, my goal for today was cuff of this sock, toe of the second sock, but I was able to do this a lot quicker. So we're just gonna be ambitious today, toe and leg. We'll see what happens. I do have to work this afternoon. Um, so that will take a lot of my knitting time compared to like what I had yesterday, but a little more back to normal. We also, this morning, which is very exciting, we are going to get my car. It's arrived from Germany, so before I go to work, in about 30 minutes, we are heading out to go get my car, and then I will find some food and then go to work. So we'll see what we can get done today. morning happy Saturday as you may have saw there was not a whole lot that I filmed yesterday so after I talked to you guys in the morning we went and picked up my car which was very exciting so my fiesta is here and then I had to go to work I picked up lunch on the way and then while I'm at work I'm not vlogging and then after work I came home right now my transit time to and from work is a little longer than it will be once we move into our apartment so i'm looking forward to that being slightly less but when i got back here shannon and i then decided to go out to dinner so we did that i took my desert vista dye work sock worked on that a bit and then we came back and watched some tv while snuggling on the bed with sherlock as you saw who was <laughs> like sleeping on the remote he just like jumped out of the room because I kind of closed the door 
And yes, I worked on my sock just a little bit. I did not reach the goals I set for myself yesterday, but that's okay, because we got ahead the day before. <laughs> so this is where I'm at. I've done a little bit of it this morning. So, like, like 18 rows in on the foot, and I think I'm doing like 40 before I start my increases for my heel, so not too bad. Um, my plans for today are basically to get through the heel of this, and then tomorrow I can do the leg and the cuff, because I'm also off tomorrow. But I also have some other projects that I'm itching to start. So I pulled out my bullet journal this morning. So this is just my journal. I've had it for a couple years. I don't do crazy like detail pages as you can see. I just have like really basic brain dumpy kind of things. And then for days that I kind of want to try to get things done, I do like a one, two, three. And my goal is to get those tasks done. So like today, I want to get through the heel of the sock. I also put, I want to print and cut the pieces for a pajama pants pattern. So I've gotten into sewing a bit more since starting this job because a lot of my coworkers sew very cute clothes. And it's probably why I didn't have enough to show to record a last podcast because I sewed a skirt and a shirt on my off days instead of focusing on knitting. But I really enjoyed it. This shirt turned out really well. Um, I'll try to remember to show it to you guys. It's currently in the wash, so I can't show it right now. But very excited. So I want to try and sew some pajama pants. So I bought the fabric yesterday. And I would like to go print the pattern and get the pattern pieces ready so that maybe tomorrow I can cut the pattern pieces and sew them. I've never sewn pants before, so this is the first time. And then the other thing I want to finish today is I need to finish sewing some masks for our to have. For our to have, yes. Um, cause Shane can wear fabric ones here and I can wear them as well. Whereas in Germany we were required to wear medical ones. So I have the fabric for those and I've prepped them. I just need to do finishing touches on them and I've been putting it off. I sewed like a couple to get us by, but I need to like just get a week's worth for each of us done. So that's also on the do list. So those are my three things today. Get through the heel, cut and print the pieces for the pattern for the pajama pants and finish my masks. I've also added that I need to update my finished object notebook because this is just where I keep, it's where I track my stash changes every month, what I bring in and what I take out. And then I like to do little like project notes essentially, kind of like a Ravelry page, but a little more tactile, but I am multiple projects behind. So if I think if I can update like a page a day, that would be cool. But that's a, I always forget that I need to do this. So I'm a little behind. But yes, so I've got my to-do list. I'm going to probably for about an episode's worth knit on these socks while drinking my coffee. And then probably see how far we get and then probably work on the pajama pants because very excited about that. Hello and welcome back to my yellow lighted bedroom. I feel like I've taken you guys or shown you a lot today, but that pattern was a lot. Um, I know there wasn't a lot of talking, but I figured I would just show you kind of what I was doing. So I went and I printed the pajama pattern and that was my first time taping a pattern together. So that took a while. I don't think I actually showed the taping part. And then I had to take measurements for both of us 
and then I had to trace the pattern, cut out my tracing pieces, and then I decided to modify it just slightly, so that took me another second, and then I traced the pieces, and then cut them all out, and so that is done. So my goal this morning of printing the pattern and cutting the pieces is done, which is good. And I showed you a bit, I finished sewing all of our masks, Shane did the elastic on his, so masks are done, so that is also done. So now the only thing left on my to-do list is to get to the heel of this sock. And I don't think I'm much farther than what I showed you last time this morning. So I'm at like 20, 28 rows of some 40 some, but I'll be fine. It's almost 8 o'clock, so I'm just gonna sit on the bed, watch TV, and work on these socks. And I don't know if I will talk again tonight. I know I haven't done much talking overall. It's a mix of like, I don't know what to say when I'm doing things, but I want to make sure I'm showing things. Which is like sometimes I forget that I need to record showing things. So, we're working on it. We're getting more comfortable with vlogging. Yeah, so I'm going to work on my socks up. And if I don't check in tonight, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Sunday. We've had a bit of a lazy morning so far, which I think is fine. It's Sunday. I'm allowed to sleep in and do whatever I want. Um, <laughs> it is 9.30 right now. Um, I've been knitting a bit this morning while enjoying my coffee, which I have moved to the kitchen. But I am officially... I got through the heel and did part of the leg last night, and I have now finished the leg on my sock and moving toward the cuff. I'm gonna set them down for the rest of the morning now because the pajama pants are calling to me. So I want to go and try and do a little bit of that before I have a massage today. So I'll be leaving in about an hour. So I wanna spend about an hour getting done what I can. And then this afternoon I'll work on that cuff. Um, we might also go to a movie today, depending if Shane feels better and wants to go, considering he's talking and playing video games. I think he's feeling a bit better. So, those are the plants. Work on my pajamas some, go and get a massage, because my body is rebelling against the lack of adequate sitting furniture. <laughs> and my muscles really hurt. So we're gonna do that. And it is also hair wash day, which is why I have my little wrap on so that after my massage, I can also wash my hair. Because other curly headed people may know that I don't wash my hair too often because they need the, it needs to not be washed so it doesn't get stripped. It needs like the oils in your hair, but I wash it about once a week and I can usually tell <laughs> my hair starts getting less curly and more flat and then I wash it and it poofs back up. Anyway, I don't know if you care about my hair talk. Sherlock is right here. He's in every morning, like he hears us wrestle and he jumps on the bed and snuggles with us. So I'm gonna go back get another cup of coffee and start working on these pajamas. I know I will finish these today. And when I do, so that'll be the last of this vlog. And yeah, I'm excited. I think I am gonna actually record a podcast and get that up. And I think I'm changing slightly how I think I'm gonna do Vlogmas. It's gonna be a goal of like two to three episodes a week because the day I worked, I recorded nothing at all. And I work five days a week. So two vlogs a week will be more attainable, I think. So that is the goal. But you will go along with me and see all my admins and things. And yeah. 
those are the goals for the day. Finish the socks, get them blocking, and work on the pajamas. Hi, so a couple hours have passed. I've been to my massage and I'm back. It was excellent, it was amazing. But that place is near where our apartment is going to be. So I came back and then Shane and I went back out because we wanted to go explore that area a bit. We took Sherlock with us. We took him to the dog park there. So that was a lot of fun. But now Shane is at the grocery store and I am back. Oh, that's my back of my shirt. And I'm working on sewing these pajama pants. I'm modifying the pattern to add pockets and I bought a beginning garment sewing book. So I'm trying to figure that out. I think I'm doing it right but fingers crossed. I wanna get Shane's pajama pants done today and then knit the rest of the evening. I don't think I'm going to be able to do both pairs today, but we shall see. These are just beats over some violins. I wanna sing something that's genuine. We are back in the bed for usual. I have finished the pajama pants. Oh, I finished shades. I'm not doing mine today. Those took way longer than I anticipated. But I'll post a photo, hopefully. But I'm pretty proud. They're the first pants I've ever made. The elastic was kind of annoying, but they fit him quite well. They were like six inches too long in the leg, but that was an easy fix. And I'm very happy. And I think he likes them. I mean, he's wearing them. So, I'll make mine soon. But yes, now we're settling in. We are actually going to finish this cuff and finish off this vlog. I'm going to probably watch a little bit of YouTube while I work on these. And I will check in with you guys when I finish. And we'll finish out this Curio Sock Cal vlog. It's down. This life thing is moving a bit too fast for me Just wanna look at life dead in the eyes And go ahead and tell it to Slow down Hello all, it is the next morning So I hope that's okay I showed you guys my socks up blocking last night and I hung them up to dry overnight so I wanted to give you guys a little preview now that they are done I guess it's not a preview I'm just gonna show them to you that they're done here are my socks both of them so I'm holding my camera in the other hand I love these I think the pattern was great for the challenge it was just addicting and fun it's like a vanilla sock but with a little more interest, it doesn't take a lot of brain power once you get that first setup row done to get your striping established. And then you just do the slip switches and stripe every row. If you've helical knit, it's probably very similar, but you change at the beginning of rounds. Um, I really enjoyed it. That was the first time I've used either of those yarns. It was the Modim, Mondim by Retrozaria. This is how much I have left. So much. I have not weighed them yet. And then this is how much of the spin cycle I have left. So a good amount. The Mondim was in the colorway Moss. There is the logo. I love the little logo. It's so cute. And then the dyed in the wool logo is here. I have it folded against their little face. And this color was Deep Bump. This color speaks to me very much. So I loved using both of those yarns. I was glad I was able to try some new things. Um, definitely a fun learning experience. Both of them have a nice tooth to them, but neither has nylon, so we're gonna see how they hold up. I think they're gonna be great. Like, the wool is nice and lovely, and I'm very excited to have these in my wardrobe now. So. 
these are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I hope it is okay. I'm trying a new camera and microphone, so hopefully everything is good. I probably should have checked before recording for four days in a row, but you know, caution to the wind. I hope this is a good preview of what Vlogmas is to come. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna do at least two vlogs a week, hopefully more. We will see how it goes but I will keep you updated on all of my knitting and all the advent calendars that I have. I may have gone a little advent crazy, but you know what? I'm here for it. I'm in a hotel for half of advent. I will have a normal Vlogmas one year. Last year I was quarantined during Vlogmas, and this year we're in a hotel for half of it, and we'll be moving into our apartment. So you know, I love piling everything on at once. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see the Vlogmas videos that are to come, make sure you hit subscribe. That way I can pop up in your little queue of videos that happen because Vlogmas is crazy and you're probably going to have a lot of people you're watching. So I appreciate it. Any time you spend with me, I know I'm going to be spending a lot of time with my favorite people as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. It means so much that you guys are here with me. I love you guys. Put a little bit of love into every stitch you're knitting, and I will see you very soon.